In this lesson, I want to talk about how to split up a Git repository so that you could take a directory, break it out into its own repository. So the thinking here is, let's say you're working on an application and you decide that this certain part of the application actually needs to stand on its own. Maybe it's a library that you developed or it's some sort of module or maybe your application has grown so big that you realize that we actually need to uh, modularize this a bit and maybe set up a series of services so that the different pieces can talk to each other. Whichever scenario you fall into, it's important to know how to break up the repository in a way where you don't lose any history. So let's look at that here. I have a sample repository here called popcorn.js, which is a popular JavaScript library. And I'm just going to use this as an example, but what I want to do is I want to go into plugins here and I want to split out this uh, mustache plugin into its own repository so I can work on that independent of the entire popcorn project. So let's go through the steps of what we have to do. It's going to basically take four steps to do this. First, we're going to split the directory out from the repository and save the history as a new branch. And then we're going to take that branch and push it into a new repository that we create. This will be kind of a placeholder repository. And finally, we'll remove that split branch from the source project so it's no longer there. And after that, we have a couple options of what we want to do. So the command we're going to start with is git subtree split. So let me back out to the top here and we're going to type git subtree split. Now git subtree is a great way of pulling in an external repository and kind of having it sit as part of your project. Uh, and what a lot of people do is they squash it down to a single commit and pull those files in. But it comes with an extra command called split, which we can use to split out a directory that we could later subtree. But the cool thing is we don't have to. Now, if you look online, you might find other ways of splitting out a directory, but this is by far the simplest and it doesn't require us to commit to using the subtree. So we need to specify where we want to split. In our case, we want to split at plugins, mustache. And then we're going to split this out into a new branch. Now that might sound kind of weird. Like why don't we just, you know, archive this out to a new directory or something like that. We're trying to preserve history and we're trying to do it in sort of baby steps where we're slowly moving it out and then moving it further out and then finally bring it into a new repository. So in this case, we're just going to split this out into a branch. Then we'll use this branch we're creating, which is what this minus B is. And then the name of the branch, it will create that branch and then populate it. And then we're going to use that branch to populate our new repository. So there you go, it's counting up. And as soon as it runs through all of these revisions, we will then be able to have our new branch. And there we go, we created the branch mustache and we are good to go. If I do git branch, you can see there is our branch. Now we need a way of getting this branch into a new uh, repository. This is gonna be another kind of holding place just like this branch is to get us there. So the next thing we need to do is create our new repository. So let's back out here and I'm going to make a directory here called uh, project mustache, let's call it. And we'll go into that directory. Now I want to create a local remote. And if you don't know how to do that, I did a free lesson on how to create a local remote, but I do it by first just creating a, a new repository here and making it bare. This means there's no working tree. I'm just going to use it as a place to push stuff to. In the case of this, I'm going to use it as a way to push that branch into here. And then I can pull from that and start my new repository somewhere else. Now I could also make this a, or use just a real remote, like up on GitHub or GitLab, but we're just going to do it everything here locally. Let's always assume we're, you know, somewhere with no internet connection, how can we use the tools that just Git gives us right on our computers? And that's how we're going to do it. We'll do git init bear right inside of project mustache. So now we can 
migrate our split out directory from the branch in the source repository to our new repository. So let's back out again, and we're going to go back into popcorn.js. And here, we are going to check our branches. Remember, we have master and mustache, and we're going to push to our, let's see, this is going to be project mustache. And this is going to be the mustache branch. And we're going to push that to project mustache. This is really considered our remote here. We're going to push to this our mustache branch and call it master. So the end result is that in this project mustache bear repository, there's going to be a master branch that is going to have the contents of the mustache branch and all of its history. Remember, this mustache branch is based off of that mustache directory. So there we go. We have our new branch, source of mustache, and the remote branch is master. Next, we need to remove the split branch from the source project. But before we do that, let's make sure that all is good with our new repository. So I'm going to back out here, I'm going to make a new directory called mustache, and this is going to be, maybe we'll just call it mustache plugin. We'll go into mustache plugin, and I'm going to do a git clone, and I want to clone project mustache right into this current working directory. So we cloned it in. And now if I ls, you can see there are files that are inside of that directory. And if I do a git log, ah, look, all of our history is still there. And this history only has to do with the files in this directory. This is pretty cool. So now I've just extracted that out. The next thing I want to do is remove that split directory from the source project. So we'll go in here, we'll go into popcorn.js, and in the plugins, that's where our mustache directory is. So I'll do git remove minus r mustache. And if we do a git status, we can see it there. We can do a git commit and remove mustache plugin to be on its own as a separate repository. There we go. And so now we deleted all of that and if I ls here, you can see it's gone. And so now we have split it out and removed it. So at this point, we have a couple options. We could just leave it as it is, although I would think that we would want to add that plugin back in, but just add it in maybe as a subtree or as a submodule. I'd probably do this as a subtree since it's much easier to work with than submodules and it kind of fits with the workflow that you would want to use by bringing in these external libraries or plugins into the project. Now, if you want to learn about subtrees, submodules, and everything you need to know to be really, really good at Git, check out Git Essentials. This is my masterclass. It is a bundle of a ton of videos, lots of hours of learning, and it will take you from being just the person who can type Git commit and Git add to being someone who really knows how Git works and how to use it to your advantage. If you want to check out Git Essentials, go to majingo.com slash git dash essentials to look at this professional video learning series on Git version control. Thanks for watching this lesson, and I'll see you in the next video.